wasteful lender. The art, the music, the architecture. Oh, yes, and the gentlemen are quite rich and generous. Generous with everything they own. Ah, oh, yes, the generous gentlemen are here, but I think the nobles at court may be more so. Oh, definitely. Look, Casanova, Monaco gave me these bracelets, and the queen, she gave me this one. Ooh, borrow, nice. Ah, uh, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we should be getting back to the theater. Captain Spavento would like to have tea with you. Oh. He is a man of merit. Well, we shall have to lighten his load. Indeed. <laughs> Victoria, Piambino, it's, it's nice to see you both. <clears throat> Pantalone? Oh, yes, thank you. Um, is Pantalone home? We'd like to visit you with him. Oh, no, no, he's not home presently, but, you know, I think you'll find him worthy of your attention, you know. He, he is a man of, shall we say, ching ching, merit. <laughs> oh, how much so? Well, you know, he is a vigorous patron of the arts, you see. Ooh. Very vigorous. Vigorous. <laughs> Vigorous! <laughs> oh, well then we shall have to extend him an invitation. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think you'll find him very right for the relieving of the responsibilities of house and home. I could use a house of karma. <laughs> oh. As I was saying, Pantaloni is an upstanding man of the community, and uh, he is uh, yeah, he gives clothes to the hungry, and he feeds the naked, and uh, he gives a lot to that the, the big church thing. Oh, cool. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pantaloni is certainly a man among men. Man among men he is! <coughs> oh. I feel like I'm coming down with a chest cold. Do you know where Dr. Jorge Gratiano's house is? Oh, yeah, it's right here behind you, my lady. Oh. You know, and I think you'll find him to be a very vigorous patron of the arts as well, you know. A, a man of deserving wealth he is, yes. Well, then we shall definitely have to, you know, invite him to the theater as well. Yes, no, no, definitely. Yes, yes. Well, we should visit him, but not now. We really have to get back to the theater. We have some business to attend to. <laughs> well, well good, good, good day to you both. Yes, we shall have to take our leave of you. Yes, yes. good day. Yes. And do give our, our regards to Pantalone. Oh, I, as you wish, my lady. I, I definitely will. <coughs> I think I'm running a fever. <laughs> Speaking of giving my regards to Pantalone, should I not be loyal to the man who has kept me employed these many years? A man who has given me a bed to sleep on, made from the finest materials, the discarded straw from his horses, <laughs> a man who has given me food and plenty to eat. Now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> Are you going to eat that, sir? Yes, <laughs> uh, a man who has never, ever, ever beaten me on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that works good. <laughs> Should I not be loyal to this man and, and give him all the respect he deserves? No. 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 Wait, or should I take this lecherous old fool for every lira that I can? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. oh, oh you, you're nothing but heartless, despicable man. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. And for that, I'm truly grateful. Thank <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you, Lonnie. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Why uh, you know, uh, 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 Signora Victoria was just here asking about you. You know, she she spoke of you by name. Victoria. Yes. Apparently, some woman likes me. My wife seems to have other things on the side. Victoria just showed me this picture of my wife that apparently had to have been given to her by another man. Oh, well, you know, lots of men have pictures of. A beautiful woman, you know. Pictures <laughs> 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 are depraved. <laughs> 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 These men shouldn't have photos like this in their possession. 
I'm going to take this back to my chambers where I can study its depravity in more detail. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, but as I was saying about Signora Victoria, you know, she just Victoria, yes. she couldn't stop talking about you. But you know, if there was something we could do, you know, to kind of set you apart from oh, never mind, I wasn't sure. You know, just do something to you know, get you. No, no, that was. Let me just get her a gift. Oh, okay! Wait, that's wait, an excellent wait, idea! Wait, 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 I can't! No, you got it! I know an excellent jeweler down the street! An excellent jeweler! Wait, 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 the picture of my beloved Isabella somehow ended up in that actress Victoria's chambers. Somehow. Right. Pantalone found out and has threatened to kill her. Now she won't even talk to me. Yeah. What am I going to do, my friend? Horatio, I know you think you're good with women, but you've never <laughs> seen me in action. <laughs> I, I will talk to her for you. Maybe, maybe I can get her to see some sex. I would appreciate that. Thank oh. you, my friend. Yeah, you know, it's funny that uh, that you and Isabella are having problems today. It's, well, me and Flaminia, well, we had a fight also this afternoon as well. She's not talking to me anymore. What are you two arguing about? Well, she told me I wasn't allowed to go to the theater anymore. Oh, I know. But you know, it escalated out of hand. I may have bit my thumb. But I know. It was stupid, but it happened. She's not talking to me. I don't know what to do. I'll talk to her on your behalf. You're amazing. <laughs> Let me see if I can get Isabella to win. Yes. My lord, I have the contract that will part my master after he slays you in the duel. Hey, hey, hey. You think your master can take me? He'd better prepare to meet his maker. Well, I oughta. Okay. All right. Oh! <laughs> Isabella! How are you? Uh, I was, uh, just... sorry. I was sent by, uh, by Horatio to, to talk to you. Horatio? What do I have to say to that liar? <clears throat> Milady, you need say nothing at all. Just let him bask in your beauty. As a wilted flower basks in the noonday sun. Well, perhaps I could give him a chance to redeem himself. Oh, my Isabella, your smile warms my soul. Your presence warms my heart. I cannot stand being apart from you. Yeah. Scoundrel! Oh, not you, but the other one. If you not leave off loving that actress, Victoria, my captain no, 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 no. will run you through with an hour! No, 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 not the time. Not the time. Isabella! Who would have expected that to happen? <laughs> <laughs> the Bento has crossed the line. I'm going to kill that Bento for costing yes. me the love of my Isabella. Good choice. I don't think I can live without her, so afterwards, I'm gonna kill myself. Whoa, hell, whoa, let's not get carried away here. I mean, you have to kill Captain Spavento. He's an arrogant, poopy face. Come quad, but he's really not a. Just kill him. Ugly. Yes, very ugly. But don't kill yourself. What is all this talk of killing yourselves and come quads? <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. You must intercede on my behalf with Isabella. She won't even talk to me. Oh, and, and also me and Flaminia, please. Yes, same thing. Oh, oh, I got an idea. This really isn't the time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! My lords and ladies! At the merchant's currently shoes! Lady shoes in particular are now 50% off. Oh, okay. I repeat, lady shoes are now 50% off. Well, that's more quicker than normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, 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 gentlemen, as I was saying, you see. What about now, the shoes? Oh, that's in the third act. Hush. Now, listen. <laughs> listen. Now, if I think that we could work this out, right? If you only talk to each other, you see? And honest. Ha! 
heartfelt, forthrightly delivered argument will win the day. Please, I'm so sorry, but no, I can't live without you. I need you like a man in the desert needs water, like the sun nourishes the flowers pumping. Here's a rose, please take me back. Oh, please. That was really good. That was good. Basically, you know, the same thing. But <laughs> three times more. Four times, and with your name in it. <laughs> Senora Victoria, I know you know this, you know, but, you know, since we've worked everything out, this should give you time to, say, work on your relationships. <laughs> this situation won't be resolved until I get my picture back. Uh, I'll go to Victoria. Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. I got it under control. And you can buy me some new shoes later. Yes, dear. Flavio does not go to the theater without me. Oh, oh, uh, your husband. I, yes. Uh, oh, oh, um, um, uh, I'm not sure why your husband goes to the theater. Oh, oh, where he, ouch. <laughs> oh, oh, where he goes for that matter. Wow. That man is such a knave. Oh, Always sneaking around. Always sneaking around. I cannot stand how he constantly goes to the theater. Yeah, oh, constantly I'm, goes to the theater. <laughs> I'm leaving, and I have some shopping to you for new shoes. <laughs> Thank you, Pedro. Um, Pedrolino, what's going on? Oh, you're in trouble, Graziano. The Signora Victoria was here, and she was asking for you specifically. That's why your wife is so upset with you. What did the actress say? Your wife? Oh, well, you know, she said that she was very interested in you. Oh. Yes. Of course she is. I have calculated this to the T. I have. Oh, yes, yes. Buongiorno, dottore Graziano. Signora Victoria, she sent me for a silver pot and basin to borrow tonight for the play. Oh, of course, of course. For her art. Anything. I, I will sit here with Pinto Pedolino, yes. Oh, yes. Well, she also sends a message to you as well. Signora Victoria, she sends her love. She only has eyes for you, and that all those other men, they're just barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> well, for this information, I will get you a gift. Wait here. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that the Gatiano was a vigorous patron of the arts? <laughs> Let's discuss how we're going to divide this. <laughs> Where did everybody go? I have a gift! <sighs> Captain Spalento can hardly wait to stage. <laughs> Where do you think I'm going to? <clears throat> Captain Spalento can hardly wait to see the lovely Lady Victoria. The wine, the fighting, they cannot satisfy me. I must have her. <laughs> But, Captain, this isn't such a good idea. You know, she's an actress. She travels the world. She sees lots of other men. Exactly! It's not good for your reputation. It is. She travels the world. She sees other men. And they will all know who got her first. <laughs> but, Captain, haven't you ever been in love before? Captain Spavento was once in love with a... Woman, very lovely woman. Her name was Sylvia Milanese. We were so in love, but alas, an arranged marriage stole her away from me. My heart was broken, and it can only find solace in the world's greatest mountains. <laughs> Captain, Captain, uh, Signor Victoria, I, I saw her down at the goldsmith shop. She's, She's right here? around the corner. She's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny, you should ask about my old love. She was beautiful, it was amazing. She's gone heartbroken. Victoria, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> would you be offended if somebody killed your master? Uh, uh, yes, uh, yes I would. Uh, uh, if someone raised a hand on my master, I, I would slay them. 
of that lady, Sylvia Melanese, from Milan, who the captain was so in love with, she sent me to kill him. What? Oh, I, I would kill you if you weren't such a, a pretty young lad. Uh, <laughs> but, but I will stop you. Oh, hold on. Okay. Um, you me, servant. Uh, dare you have to my master. Uh, oh. Captain Spavento, Captain Spavento, why can't you see that it is me, Sylvia Melanese, beneath these men's clothing? Oh, don't they do chase me. Oh, but I only wear these clothes so that I could run away from home and escape that arranged marriage to a man who I don't love. But you, like every other man in this city, has become enchanted with that Venetian Actress, Victoria! Oh, Victoria, Victoria! I will kill that Victoria. And then I will kill myself. That was the end of Act Two.